This is hunting for purple streetlights in Kansas City, I think video 274 or something like that. Um, I'm right here. This is on a topographic map. This is Holmes Road, and this is Route 150 here. Notice we have a lot of blue here. That means the land, the terrain goes down. There are also bodies of water that are not very easy to see. We'll look at satellite in a moment, though. But there are some purple streetlights. There is one right there one over like over here I think and then one over here but these are near a topographic trough meaning that chemicals dropped at these points or that hit these points maybe that can also blow northward like along this actually from like right here it blow like this and from here it probably blow like that way and also go into the ground and into the water um, would also drain though eventually out of the environment and not stay necessarily right where they are because we have higher elevation here so water is going to be coming down and flushing this out so i noticed that they put these purple street lights in areas that look like there might be set up for a chemical attack and so that's why i'm introducing this first topographic map is really good to look at whenever you find a new purple street light location um, this is the wind rose for Belton, Missouri. Uh, it's pretty much the same like all over the place. This whole area just looks like this basically. Um, much of this this part, even this region of the U.S. looks like this. Um, it becomes more south-southeast the more south that we go, if I'm not mistaken. Um, especially the closer you get to like say Houston, Texas. It becomes more of the south-southeast. And like in Louisiana, it's like mo it's like almost all like from here. But in this part of the U.S., it's mostly like this. Um, you would think that a lot of it comes out of the West simply, geez, simply because storms come out of the West. But that's only usually when, when those storms come, that it's that way, or in the winter time. Just from uh, some observations that I've already made when I started noticing it. Um, so it's really easy to think that it's that this side would be a lot, but it's actually not. By the way, just the way it works, in case I didn't I forgot to explain this, a wind rose, this the arrow these are actually arrows, but the arrows are not on that side, they're on this side. Um, so it's pointing northward. So the wind blow if the wind is strongly south like it is here or mostly south or south southeast or south south southeast, it means it comes from the south south southeast and goes in that direction. Okay. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to show you the satellite map. Here, I'm located right approximately where this uh, this is here. We're going to look at this purple street light there. And then I'm going to look at the these other two purple street lights in the same video. I have not seen them for a while. Um, oh, I forgot to... Let's see, let's go... To the folder where I have this see Holmes Road okay so this is the one that's closest to us this is what it looked like back when I took this video let's see oh you know oh right here okay so video 206 a this is the title of the video and you can see what time of the video it was that the snapshot was oh this is if you don't press, and this is one of the things that makes me mad, and I think that everybody should start to think about. If you don't click on the description of a video in YouTube, it'll show you just like how many days ago. So if you took a snapshot, it means nothing. But if you click on it, it shows you the date. I want to make this point. It's very easy to forget this when you're documenting something and it doesn't give you the date. Okay? I don't think it's accidental. It doesn't really... By the way, this is not even this is this is not accurate. Like if it says a year, it could be more than a year. Like it could be a year and a half, even it could be one year and twelve months. Uh, well, actually, I haven't looked at how many months it would turn over, but I'm pretty sure it's it's only it rounds down. Okay, so that's very agitating if you want to document something. Also, just notice like if you want to use the filters on YouTube, it only goes back one year. 
right? It says, or more than a year. There needs to be a way to find videos in a certain range of time. What if you want to find videos that people did like between one month and another month of a certain year when something happened? It doesn't look like you can do that. If you, if that does not bother you, you should, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I, I have a lot of contempt for people like you. If you don't care about it, there's something wrong or you don't, you don't see it. You don't see what's wrong. That they don't intend to keep us alive, eventually, in my opinion. They want to keep things quiet, and they want to do whatever they want to do. There should be no reason to even cut communication. If we're going to have world a world war, it matters even more, guys. Our freedoms even apply should apply even more. If we don't know what kind of things would happen all of a sudden. If they're... You may not think the way that I do, but if when you see what I see, I understand the rationales, I understand what it's like to think like a communist but let me just tell you if they want to kill you and everybody else and they're not going to let you know about it guys and the people who end up in control already if they don't want to be communist anyway and they they that's their rationale for why they want to do what they do they still don't necessarily intend to keep you alive they may just want to have some people around so they can just keep things the way they want it okay that's really important to remember don't forget that and don't forget to question, ask why things are the way that they are. And when you see that they don't want you to see them, care about it. Don't be a chicken. I'm not a chicken, and I'm going to keep documenting this because I know that they're lying to us. It's sick. It's absolutely disgusting. If we care about other cultures, other people with, who speak other languages and understanding what's wrong, I want to, if you want news, you want to hear what the other country has to say, right? You want to hear, or at least what people in the other country have to say, right? You want to hear what people in your own country have to say. If that's not okay, it's never, never fucking okay to not let people in your own country say what they need to say. It's never okay to cut our fucking freedom of speech. If you think it is, if you think they wouldn't abuse it, you're incorrect if it's a corrupt government. And we even have the right to be able to defend ourselves and have a well-governed militia. Not even, that's different than the military even, guys. To defend our freedoms against a corrupt government. Wake the fuck up. If you, if you see it the other way, you're fucking retarded, okay? That's, sort of the, that's what I think. Or you, don't under, you haven't seen things the way I've seen them. They don't follow the rules at even jobs. Like almost any of the jobs I have, almost. They don't follow the rules. And they try to hide things. If it's the government, and they're supposed to represent us, and they don't want to represent us, they want to have like drama there. They even have people have gay sex there or something, so that they don't... They can have something else there. Some other fucking reason, guys, to not represent us. It's fucked up. They oust a House Speaker, and the next one that is going to be the House Speaker immediately stops, immediately resigns. What the fuck, guys? Wake up. Wake up. That's supposed to be our representative branch. That means fuck you guys. We don't want to represent you. We're going to fucking play games. That's what it means. Guys, Putin might want to do something. Be good, guys. I mean, nobody even probably cares anymore, right? They could hear something about Putin and just think, oh, they wouldn't tell us about it. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to tell you about it. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to walk across the road over there. So we're, now we got this one. It doesn't matter if they tell you something, okay? In fact, they can tell you something and you want to look up some stuff, you'll find just what they fucking want you to see that they would talk about all over the place. Two, it's disgusting. It's disgusting, guys.
I don't really know much about Santos, but I just really kind of wonder what that was even. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't even think they wouldn't. I, I doubt that they would be able to have any position if they're not doing something they're not supposed to do or not lying about something. It seems like it's basically that way at jobs, too. If you don't want to lie about something, they give you those star questions. It's almost like they're looking for a lie. They want to know that you're going to lie and they'll hire you, in my opinion. <clears throat> it's disgusting. That seems like it's the lowest common denominator. If you think things are going to get fucking better, no. It's time for people to wake the fuck up and think about it like they should. Don't we care about the truth? Don't we? If you don't care about the truth, that's really, uh, what's the word? Um, oxymoronish, self-defeating. I don't want to see you. I'm just going to shut my eyes. Well, no, just for other, I want other people's eyes to be shut. I still want things to operate the way they should. Oh, okay. Diseases are positive feedback loops a lot of times. They need processes to go awry, to allow it to continue like it does. One of the most important things is for people to not be fucked up to begin with. To have the education and discipline and training that they need to have at a very young age and the right parenting that's really freaking important the moment you think it's not important because that's not your class and there's no hope for them is the moment you're admitting that it's okay to go and shoot all of them when they try to kill us or something like that or when there's problems and they refuse to, to bend or go along with things like they should the moment that you do that in your head when you think about what that is because they're, they're going to keep eating food. They're going to keep doing whatever they do. They're going to keep breeding. Okay, so once you think that, though, think about what the logical extension of that is. That's civil war eventually. That's some kind of war, right? You got to think, well, I don't care about the public anymore. We just care about our own group. What that is, is that means the only way to go from there is to kill everybody else or have so much control that you enslave other people. If you do, things eventually will, they're gonna fight for their interests, guys. Think, just think about what it is. Think about why civilization is important, why it's important to be civil and have rules and follow them and enforce them for everybody. Because once you have that instability, you already have a, a positive feedback loop that helps people who wanna lie and cheat. Even if they're, if they're confusing people or making people think, that they're helping them in that group to use them and get rid of them and everybody else. Just think about what it is. You can't be an American and think any other way than that in my opinion. You have to really think that way to be an American. You're not fighting, you're not, you're not, your dream is not going to last forever. There will eventually be conflict with other people and more lies and then they'll have to lie to you too. It should be fucking obvious that stability is really important and what are the foundations of stability? Some people would say, well, the foundation of stability is lying. That's why we can keep things stable. Well, guess what? That's not going to be permanent. That will absolutely not stay permanent, guys. You have to enslave people more and more for it to be okay. And that's not American. Becomes an arms race.
So what I remember is two different panels on this one. One with the purples on it, the other one not with it. So let's see if it's changed such that both panels have defective LEDs. Despite being completely different batches or completely different ages for some reason. I'd like to know the process for putting these two lights up. Do they put an application in somewhere to fucking put them up or what? So they're ship defective ones? Do they already have to decide which one is which or what? See, both panels. There you go. And then two sub panels on the other panel. Yeah. I've overwhelmingly shown that they know that these are what they are when they put them up. Someone does at least. So I'm doing this rocking on purpose. So you can play it, you can press K on your keyboard if you're watching on YouTube and you can, st you can pause it and you can press the uh, period and the comma buttons or the, basically they're the greater than or uh, less than symbols. Um, but don't press the shift button. And when you do that, it goes frame by frame in whichever direction you press it. And you can see that some of the ones that look like there's no purple at all, when you, when you sway it like that, you can see that there is a disparity in how much of the blue light is being emitted and it lags on the camera. So it creates like a little comet trail behind it, if you want to put it that way. Some kind of trail. It's a lot shorter than that, but... And you can see then that those are candidates for which ones will turn purple next. <clears throat> That's also why, so right now, I don't know how purple that light looks like to you, but if you go like this, right now, and you go frame by frame, you can definitely see that that's a purple light. Even at a distance, that you can very clearly see the purple lights versus the non-purple lights. If you go like this, this would probably be the preferred way and you can see where it is. You can see the depth of it, like this. Because those streaks have longer streaking patterns uh, or more pronounced blue light because it separates. It's like refracting. I think it has to do with refraction of the light. So you can very much see uh, the difference between those lights at a distance on camera. Like, kind of like chromatography or some kind with light.
but that's only applicable on the plane about the the depth for shorter than the lights for example but it helps you pick out which ones are which or you know whatever you might get the point Some videos I found purple street lights that are near the Missouri and Kansas rivers and where they meet in downtown Kansas City. Great place for chemical drainage south of an airport and also south southeast or south south southeast of an area where a lot of cars park, like a big parking lot for cars and for transport, and of course of the river. So you can't really go past that point if it's toxic for days. Because the wind. Oh, it's a trash bag. I freaking hear somebody or something. And there's like a, a possum, okay. Let's do a little bit of the swaying again here. Right. And that's that. So I've shown these all to you. This is, it doesn't even say the exit. They don't give a shit about homes really good. <laughs> the signs on the other side are all shitty. They didn't fucking change it with new signs. They deteriorated. This, taking this in the winter time was dangerous if I wanted to take a left going down this hill. I had to get into the right lane, slow down, and then get over to the left because they didn't plow it if I wanted to take a left. We're facing east here. And we're on Route, 50, uh, route 150 off ramp onto or Route 150 eastbound um, onto Holmes Road. All right, so I'm gonna stop this video now.